Hello guys, I'm John from Hack Robot. Uh, today, let me demonstrate how we can use SC3000 series to inspect uh, water level and we can separate OK sample with uh, NG samples. So, uh, water level shaking is one of the most popular application customers uh, were asking me. So, it's very simple. Simple enough that I have to make a video and send it all to you so uh, you don't have to ask me anymore how you can use uh, the smart camera to do it because it's too simple alright so here with me is SC3000 series we have uh, like 1.6 megapixels but this one with me is 5 megapixels so is very powerful uh, 5 megapixel is uh, capable for most applications out there so if you don't have one in your office you can buy and try it yourself I will show you the feature later but I promise you it's worth it alright here with me is uh, three samples uh, of bottles alright so this one is a okay sample as you can see the water level is up to this level this one is not okay as you can see and we have an empty bottle here so let's go let's see how we can operate using our smart camera firstly uh, let's go to project and create a new one okay then with this smart camera it's very easy you just click one key settings and it will then automatically adjust the focus and brightness for you but if is uh, the brightness is not good it's too dark or you want to adjust manually you can then go to extend parameter here as you can see and maybe I want uh, more brightness maybe I can increase expo exposure time maybe 900 is enough yeah, to a dark uh, maybe I can increase gain a little okay it's all right okay it's good next go to base image then we load the current image to this uh, step 2 and then when uh, when the image comes then we create a template area here maybe I can use the cap for the to be a reference reference point here uh, okay we can adjust the sensitivity if you want more detail alright or you can even adjust the angles or minimum score of uh, the reference uh, image but so far it's good or uh, sorry you can uh, test whether it's already good and stable okay so far so good then next step Next step, we we want to measure the uh, level of the water. Then I will use maybe distance tools to measure the distance, and then we would uh, judge the result from the measured value. So firstly, we uh, create the detection area that we want to check, and then right now we have, uh, as you can see, two edges we can adjust the sensitivity of the edge okay maybe we can measure from uh, this point to this point let's set uh, some other parameters uh, the edge one maybe is from as you can see white to black okay and then edge two yeah maybe from black to white you can try, you can test by yourself and see if the result is stable or not okay so far it's, it's alright uh, you can uh, choose the wildest or narrowest or you can set uh, this parameter by yourself manually so next step is to set uh, the range so maybe the measured value is 150 maybe we can go from 180 and for the upper range and then for a lower 
lower range we go for maybe 135 okay so this is the okay sample now let's go with maybe ng sample uh, let's test first mm, all right quite stable we take this out and we go with an empty bottle all right as you can see no water inside and the camera cannot detect uh, the edges so the result is not okay and uh, we have another bottle but the water level is too low as you can see here so it's not in the range of our uh, set okay range so this one is ng so that's it it's very easy very simple then this is the third step right so for the fourth step we just set some output you can either uh, set uh, some images uh, according to your desired condition or you can set uh, if you want to send send out some data you can check out here to results or if you want to set some input and output here okay all right that's it very easy very simple